are you looking forward to you know maybe an even bigger role playing alongside him? Uh, well, since I've been here, I've been playing against Zach, so I've saw I've saw the way he play, just like me, you know, aggressive, you know, dog mentality. So when he came in, it was like I was expecting the same. Um, so, but he is quiet as a person, so it's a little different, just like me. So uh, coming in, we can you know get more familiar with each other, how we can play off, you know, whether it's me at the wheel or him at the wheel or vice versa. Um, so looking forward to you know growing. Good compliment, like you said, different skills right. for, for both of you. Yes, sir. What do you like about what you've done at this point in your career? Maybe what do you consider maybe next for you? Um, hold on, say that, say that question uh, again. What do you like about what you've maybe done to this point in your yeah. career? And maybe what's the next step for you? What I like is I've you know sat back and I've watched the people in front of me and I've you know grown as a player on and off the field. Um, so the next step for me is just to continue to, into going into that next level where I can, you know, know I can be, you know, whatever is like all pro or whatever, you know, putting it out there. Uh, the, the sky, I mean, like, the, it's no limit for me. I've said that before. Um, so the next step is for me is just to continue to grow as a player. Uh, and uh, keep giving. How much does that role, as far as like you becoming a leader in that locker yeah. room, how much do you embrace that? Well, I've been, I feel like that's that's been there for me to become. Uh, cause I've, I've started last year. I've played uh, a lot uh, over the years, so I feel like you know, um, as far as vocally, you know, I've sat back because uh, it's been vets in front of me, you know, that could take that role. So now you know I'm here and you know I'm in the spot that I am in, so I can be more vocal and you know make uh, more decisions. Some draft analysts out there to keep giving Devin Lloyd to this team. You, yeah, you, you feel like they don't know about you or what? I don't really care for real. <laughs> if you watch film, you know you know what's going on. So uh, I really don't pay attention to the mocks or whatever. So um, you know the draft is going to be the draft. So you know. Do just to get back to Zach, how do your different skill sets kind of complement one another? Do you think? Um. I think as far as we're both run dominant, we you know we play the run well, um, and we play the pass well. Um, we still growing uh, as players, both you know. Um, so I feel like as far as the coach, we got a new coach Bobby King. Um, so I feel like you know his his compliments as far as like growing us as players, you know, will you know better us as, as players. How, yeah, how, yeah. Who's my dog? No, I'm sorry, but I, I was just say, have you got to, to? Yeah, I've met one of them. Uh, Probably three or four times, but you know, I had a conversation with him. we we have a plan. Um, we're gonna you know build the, that uh, relationship. You know, uh, it's just a start, so we'll get it rolling. David, how your off season to this point maybe looked different um, than previous years, knowing that you're gonna be one of the guys right. that inside my. Us, uh, I mean, it wasn't as much. It wasn't like as I was coming into this year. I wasn't really nothing more to prove. I would say. Uh, I mean, of course, I got a chip on my shoulder. Of course, like you just said. Obviously, people that don't know. So, um, but coming into this year, I, I know what role I am. You know, I wasn't know how to figure out what's going on. I know what role to do, and I know what to do. So, you guys on the inside were in and out of the lineup with injuries at a point. How much of a difference, or what kind of a difference would would it make, say, if you and Zach play the the vast majority of the snaps in there this year? I'm sorry, I didn't catch the first. Uh, all, part. all you guys got hurt at some point last year. You right. know, everybody was in and out of the For lineup. Sure. What, yeah. what kind of a difference do you think it'll make if you and Zach just just can stay healthy and and be on the field most of the time? Uh, it make a big difference. You know, uh, I feel like sometimes when people get hurt, come out. Uh, Especially, you build that relationship with the team as a group, and then when certain people are out there, it's a little different. You know, you have to get that next person that hasn't played as much, familiar with the the calls and playing off each other. So when it, it's good when everybody's out there healthy, you know, because we've been building that relationship through camp per se. So um, you know, just keep building on that, you know, and get better as a defense. Throughout last season, David, you guys kept saying we got to communicate better than we did in 2020. Yeah. What's the change this year? What's the next step, 2021 to 2020? As far as communication? Or anything. Anything. Um, well, I, we have a lot of pieces back. So uh, it's not going to really be too much. We got to, like, get person caught up on. Um, the front seven is the same. We got the DBs. Farley's coming back from injury. Um, we got some good pieces. You know, we going to draft, and however that goes, and come in and buy into, you know, what we've been, you know, taught. So. Um, as far as like, I feel like we just keep growing together. I feel like we got the pieces. Is that anything, you want to do anything different to prepare yourself for this season? Have I? Yeah, do you want to? Is there something 
physically different you want to do to get ready? Um, I would just like just stay pay attention more to my weight and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like you know what I've done over the years has been working, so it's not really much you know um, that I need some change more as far as you no. Know, but I'm staying here as far as the off season. I went to Texas to train it for a little bit, um, but you know just getting for getting more familiar you know with my road. You done anything different with regard to long term soft tissue stuff? Um, yeah, I found some uh, a lady. Uh, I will keep her a secret because I don't want to her schedule to fill up. Uh, but I found somebody that, you know, that works on me, uh, uh, keeps me, you know, limbering you know, and ready for, you know, to play ball. You were, that made it, you were a late round pick that made it in this league. Six was, there a, was there a specific play or practice or game where you felt like, I know I belong here? Uh, I think my rookie year when um, Jayon got hurt and I played against the Chiefs. Uh, that was my, like, my first start. And I was the, I was the defensive MVP that week. And I, that was just like me, uh, just feeling like I've, you know, because coming into the league, you don't play as much. You're not as that, that top dog you were in college. You know, you have to play the back seat. So I was kind of off mentally, you know. So when I got that chance, you know, I had to show, you know, that I belong. So that was when I got a chance to you know, show, not just the coaches, but the fans, you know, and my opponents, you know, what type of player I am. And then, you know, it came playoffs. I got to play more. So, uh, you know, the opportunity always presents itself, and, you know, I just take advantage.